The wait is finally over. The Moss Park Armory will finally open its doors to shelter some of the city's most vulnerable people from the cold. This after weeks of demands from activists. I'm Natish Bissono, and tonight we've learned that the armory will be temporarily open, but it won't be made available until Monday. And according to one activist, that's too little too late. If there's a death over the weekend, uh, we will be coming to City Hall. We will be calling the mayor and city council and even the ombuds office accountable. A desperate plea to have the Moss Park Armory open has been answered, but the round-the-clock access is only for two weeks and won't be available until after the city will see record-breaking frigid temps well into the mid-minus 30s with the wind chill factor. Instead, the National Defense Site, which will have 100 cots, won't open until Monday when the temperature is supposed to hit zero. But never this long. Never this long. And if you really look at it, it's been uh, 12 months because the petition I started was December 2016. So we've been calling for the armory through that whole time. This uh, warming center that will be opened is in the process of being opened now. The city will be in charge of announcing exactly when the doors open and when people can be taken in. Uh, what we heard very clearly from the province and from the city is that is that the, the situation uh, confronting people who are without shelter and core housing need in the city is, is, uh, is in a crisis. The city has opened the armory to shelter the homeless from the cold on four different occasions in the past. The last time was in 2004, and Crow says they've remained open for more than two weeks. We reached out to the city in an email. They tell us it is an active military location, and there is quite a bit of work to get it fit out and ready. The current warming centers at Metro Hall and Regent Park Community Centre, which are operated with the support of the Canadian Red Cross, will remain open 24-7 until the Winter Respite Centre at Moss Park Armory is open. For their part, Toronto paramedic services have been going around picking up those left in the cold and bring them to these centres. Especially the extra vulnerable that don't usually want to come in out of the cold, we've been targeting those areas to try and get them to come in and uh, participate in taking part in the shelter system. A shelter system that is only a band-aid solution for now, according to Crow. Hearing um, that the demand is so high, a place that would normally be sleeping 40, 50 people and saw 85 last night, um, not enough mats, not enough blankets. Seriously, it's like a refugee camp. Now, as of Friday afternoon, emergency services tells us there have been no reports of any injuries from Toronto's homeless community as a result of the cold. Natish Bissono, City News.